Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. And today, on the table and other Metal Earth Legends, I have Batman from DC. And we're kind of familiar with the Metal Earth Legends by this point because I built a few, so let's just open this up, see what's inside, and put together Batman. It's Batman. Open this up and pull out the insides. Ah, another one. One big sheet. One little sheet. One set of instructions. Usual fare. It's all on one side, nothing on the back. Let's fold this in half. And at the top here we have the usual Metal Earth Legends, a line drawing of the completed model and sheets. We have the two different sheets here. And as you see, they're an outline of the sheets included with the kit with the numbers pointing at the parts so you can find them and put this model together. We have a sample part with notations at the fold lines where you fold that, the insertion holes where you put the insertion tabs to build the model. And then we have the legend, blue circle means to insert a tab into its slot folded over 90 degrees and a green triangle means to insert the tab and twist it 90 degrees. 360 view, we have a QR code you can scan with your phone or the web address you can go to and see this model in 360 provided it's up. I believe this one should be. And then we have the start of the assembly flowchart underneath here. In order to avoid possible injury from sharp edges, please carefully discard the metal sheets after parts have been removed. Eh, not, not a terrible idea. But down here, we have the start of the assembly flowchart with part one and part two. You add part two on there and fold this up as shown. Then jump up here to continue on with adding part to finish shaping and adding part three. End up with that. Then four, five comes together and shape and just follow the directions as usual. Get down to halfway page, jump to the bottom quarter and continue on. And then over here, and you are finished with your Batman model. Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat sort of curved end, great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models and I love them and use them a lot. When it comes to shape and rounded parts, there are many options. I used dowel rods for a long time. I sharpened the ends of two of them with a pencil sharpener. These two are great for making cone shapes. Another option is a cheap drill bit set. The set has quite a few different sizes to choose from. Another option is a set of step mandrels. I rarely use them anymore, but I have these locking clamps and they come in handy occasionally because they can lock and you can put a part in here and carefully guide it into place. I use these for that when my hands just won't fit in the area and the precision tweezers won't hold them tight enough. Another advantage is they're really long and thin so you can reach deep down into areas to twist tabs. The disadvantage, and you have to be careful, is they have teeth so they can scratch things up. So we peeked at the directions. We've got our metal sheets, some tools to get us started. Let's put this together. Initially, I thought part two folded completely over. Then I saw where it mounted and I realized it should have been left open just a little bit.
This one little tab seemed to not want to twist. Exactly how to shape the legs is difficult to explain and not entirely clear, so I'll just show you what I do. The one thing I did forget here is to fold the two triangular pieces on the front side in just a little. You will see that I sometimes twist tabs instead of bend them. I do that sometimes just to hold the parts or areas still until more of it is together. Later, I will go back and untwist and fold over those very tabs. Folding tabs securely can be overly difficult when there's little to nothing else holding things together.
To me, this is the most challenging part of the build. Putting the front and back halves together takes patience. Start at the top and take it one tab at a time working your way down. I go in pairs until I get past the hips, then I work on one leg at a time, one tab at a time. Now that the body is together, I will go back and straighten out all the tabs I twisted instead and bend them over. Because where these tabs come out inside are so close to the corners, instead of trying to twist them, I just bent them over.
Finished. I give you Batman with his cape and his bat shaped weapon or tool. Another fairly easy build. The difficult thing about the Metal Earth Legends for me usually is getting the shape of the legs and as well as getting the back and front together. Once you get towards the bottom half of the body is where I have the most difficulty, but you just kind of take it, go down. Take it one tab at a time and work with it and be patient and so far it's always ended up coming together. The more I do it, the better I get at it, but only to a certain point. It is still a little bit of a challenge because the, the legs are just kind of oddly shaped, but it's not, certainly not the most difficult model and, and there's only so many parts, so it's just a little bit of a fight for what few parts you have. But another neat little model, I think the heads are a bit odd shaped. And maybe not my favorite, but it's okay. Neat little characters. Not too expensive and not too difficult to build. Batman is a little bit more complicated with the tool and the cape and the pointed ears, but that really doesn't add that much of a complication. So if you like them, certainly add it to your collection. They've got several for the DC fans and Marvel as well. But that's it for Batman. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like these videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter of this channel. You can check out a link in the description below and at the end of this video, or you can just leave a tip at the Ko-Fi. As always, thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.